White Boy M is currently going viral for copying the biggest streamer in the world, I Show Speed. Speed gained 10 million subscribers in one year, and during that, he became known for overreacting, juvenile humor, making himself the butt of the joke, and acting so unnatural that still to this day, some people can't tell if he is playing a character or if he is actually this high-stress, hyperactive individual. Emerson copies his voice, his facial expressions, his reactions, his personal interests. Basically, this young man studied everything about Speed's persona and imitates him for a living, and he is building a career from it. Are you serious right now? Uh. Are you serious right now, Ben? Uh. Are you serious? However, M denies all allegations of him copying. To be honest, bro, I do not copy Speed. You know what I'm saying? If I picked up on some of his traits, but I used to watch Speed a lot. But like, bro, when people say I go back and watch his streams and study it, bro, I do not do that. His fans believe him because how could he live stream every single day for hours and manage to imitate someone else without slipping up? Well, he's been practicing for months, slowly getting better and better. Just a few months ago, White Boy M sounded completely different. If you guys DM me the butterfly emoji, I will follow all you guys back on Instagram. But yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this banger video. Can y'all please stop booting me, dude? Like, I'm over here trying to stream, bro. I'm trying to stream, and y'all and y'all spamming in my chat like my IP got leaked. But it wasn't actually I Show Speed that inspired all of this. It was Aiden Ross. I haven't blown up yet, bro, but I know I will blow up. My inspiration is Aiden Ross, and he told me to speak into existence and manifest my success bro i'm gonna blow up when you're seeing this right now i blew up m was dedicated motivated and determined to blow up why we still have yet to figure that out stay hydrated white boy m was not always his persona he used to go by a different character called bluffin bluffin was a little closer to an aiden ross clone than an i show speed clone what's up it's your boy bluffin and i'm about to show you how to get sturdy like me I swear to God, Shaw, Siggy X, I will beat the shit out of you, bro. I'm not playing. After posting these silly videos on Twitter, he managed to get followed by a FaZe Clan member, FaZe Sway, and his whole world flipped upside down. Yeah, but I woke up to a Sway retweet, bro. Listen, I'm in bed, right? I'm slumped as f So long, I get up, boom, I check my- To be fair, Bluffin wasn't trying to get recognized for no reason. He was trying to get the attention of a popular esports gaming organization called Delirium. At this point, Bluffin was making a little name for himself in the Fortnite community. His compilations were getting a decent amount of traction on YouTube and TikTok. But growing a solo brand in the gaming community is extremely difficult. A lot of gamers strive to get signed by an esports team and be exposed to a much larger audience virtually overnight. M targeted Delirium because they were looking for new members. Instead of trying to become the best gamer or the most talented esports player, he leaned into his humor and made funny videos hoping to get noticed by the team. Delirium, bro. We have to have a talk, you stupid little bitch. How about you just pick me up already? You know, I'm a great addition to the team. So how about you just pick me up and f*** me? Pick me up and f*** me, Delirium? This is what the average Aiden Ross viewer thinks they should do to get the attention of people they want to be associated with. Maybe his tweets were getting likes and getting engagement, but Bluffin didn't seem to understand that calling people stupid bitches doesn't typically make them want to bring him on as a team member. To no surprise, he never got signed to the Delirium team. However, FaZe Sway and Shaw took a liking to his funny antics. Sway even put a clip of Bluffin singing his intro song for a YouTube video. All the comments were praising M. At this point, he had a couple thousand subscribers and a small following, but he was about to disappear for a while. He abandoned the Bluffin character and committed to the White Boy M character. Bluffin was the hyperactive, rude suburban teenager who liked to curse a lot. White Boy M was where he tried to be a little bit more smooth and candid. What's up Twitter man, my name is Bluffin as you guys can see, but today I'm going to be giving you guys a huge surprise halfway through this video. And I'm going to be pulling all the shooties with these swimming trunks, are you kidding me? Look at me, look at me. Huh. Huh. Which one is the real him? We don't know. But we do know that all he wanted to do was blow up, to be known. For the next year straight, White Boy M tried tons of different content. Omegle, interviewing people in his school, vlogs, pranks, but none of these were getting him closer to his dream of blowing up. He had nothing to lose, so at some point he just decided to copy everything that I Show Speed does. But White Boy M is a different level of copying. We've seen people copy other people's video ideas, video formats, or even jokes. But have we really seen anyone copy someone's personality? How did it get this bad?
Well, I wish I could tell you this was all a genius plan from the beginning, but that doesn't seem to be the case. A few months ago, M started live streaming every day on YouTube. He would play some games, go on video chat apps like Omegle, call girls from his high school, or interact with his chat. He wasn't very entertaining, and he struggled to pique the interest of more than like 30 people. During these first few streams, he talked normally, or at least how we think he talks. We got monkey app winning right now. But on stream number 12, something changed. Live with iShow Speed. He wasn't actually live with Speed. This was just a clickbait title. But it was Emerson's first monetized stream. And he broadcasted to the most viewers he ever had up until that point. Putting iShow Speed in the title allowed him to hit the algorithm and reach a new audience. And it worked. Because two days later, he would go on to reach 5,000 subscribers. But it was in this stream where a few people started pointing out the similarities between the two. How do I sound like Speed? Y'all don't be making sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Up until this point, nobody ever really compared him to Speed, and nobody ever said they sounded the same. Now we have to consider, M is from South Charleston, West Virginia, which is about 200 miles from Cincinnati, where Speed is from, so it is possible that they could have a similar accent. The 5k stream had tons of new viewers joining, and they were commenting, Speed clone, or the white Speed. His reaction to reaching 5k subscribers was the exact same way Speed reacted to hitting 9 million earlier that same day. Nah, I'm Ellie, chat. We did it. But then something interesting happened. <laughs> I show speed to subscribe? No way that's the real one, bro. M was convinced by a troll account that the real I show speed was watching his stream. So M spent the next hour straight trying to do everything he could to get in contact with him. I was just wondering if there's any way that you can actually give me the call with speed right now so I could like, you know, just talk to him on stream and stuff like that. You know, I'm not on anything weird. I just love speed so much. and I would just love to talk to him. I appreciate it. Then he was DMing with allegedly speed's second mysterious Instagram burner account. At the very end, he got in contact with this kid named Joel, who was followed by speed and convinced M that he was in fact talking to the real I show speed. I think this gave Emerson all the justification that he needed because if he had support from the guy he was imitating, then he could keep it up. And that's exactly what he did. From there on out, every stream just got more and more copy copycat-esque until July 11th when he would go viral for these clips. This one, please. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you really, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? I just, I, 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 I just, I, bro, I literally just killed. Someone posted a little compilation of M on TikTok that would lead to his subscriber count going up by the thousands. Even Speed reacted to it. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Speed! Are you serious right now? What the hell? From here, the TikTok virality was going crazy. People were just clipping M's stream and waiting to roast him. This one got 17 million views. All of this TikTok traffic was bringing people right to M's YouTube page. But he needed a new viral plan, so he made a diss track on speed. I show speed, your music is whack. Messy is better when I was trash. Take it three days, I did it like that. Number 10 on the judge that's mess. The diss track got the attention of Aiden Ross, so he invited M on his stream. Every time you reacted to me, you was cool about it, though. No, bro, I'm gonna be honest, stuff. you are a weirdo, bro. I, 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 you, <laughs> yeah, I respect bro. what you do, but you no. No, <laughs> no, 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 you're no, a little weird, bro. Aiden and his friends were making fun of Emerson, but then they also gave him props. Bro, bro listen, I think you're smart as f I actually, like, respect, like, we were just talking mm -hmm. about, bro, like, you're actually, like, smart, bro. Giving him a cosign was just what he needed to keep pursuing his behavior. Then Kai Sanat, the number one most subscribed Twitch streamer in the world, invited M on stream and tried to talk to him seriously. He tried to guide him down the right path and convince him to stop copying speed. It's, I, whatever you're doing is working, you're getting attention. I ain't gonna lie, you're getting attention, it's working. But mm -hmm. it's not gonna be for the long guy, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Then speed reacted to the diss track. I don't get it though. I don't get it, bro. Right now. Right now. Right now. Y'all really know I don't really I don't get it. Speed acting extremely normal and almost out of character speaks volumes about how he felt. He just kept saying, I don't know. 
saying he doesn't get it or understand why M is doing this. I think he genuinely didn't know if he should feel disrespected, if it's just a joke, or if he should even be giving this any attention. Regardless, the exposure from Speed, Aiden, and Kai launched White Boy M from 25k to 50k to 75k subscribers in the matter of days. His slogan, bro, are you serious right now, bro? became his catchphrase. He even made merch with it. Since then, Emerson has worked on his Speed accent, and it is near perfect. M is full-time in impersonating speed. He will copy the same exact thing speed does on stream. and every couple weeks manages to go viral on TikTok. I think we can all agree that Emerson is just a young kid trying to get attention for the sake of getting attention. He wants to be popular the same way that any of us wanted to be popular in school, but he doesn't want to put in the years of work that it takes to get there. He doesn't realize how embarrassing this is and how he will forever be known as the I Show Speed copycat. So then why is it still working? I think I've come to the realization that copying others might be the best way to build a following quickly in the modern social media era. Half of his viewers are acting as if they don't like him, but they continue to give him attention. The other half think it's entertaining how accurate his imitations are. This has been happening in music, film, and all other forms of entertainment. Just copy something that's popular, change it up a tiny bit, and ride the wave. This strategy is a good way to get attention, to cause controversy, to grow rapidly, but it almost always comes crashing down. If you want to build a career, earn a following of people who genuinely respect what you create, it takes years of hard work and dedication. And if you don't want to grind for that, then maybe this career is not for you.